Sudir, where have we reached? We have reached uh, one of the best color repair to centers in uh, Bangalore. Right. Uh, where I've been wanting to come for uh, years. Ayodhana Colorie Academy. Aliyar. This is going to be great. Guys, this is my first introduction to Kalaya Patu. Kalaya Patu. It's still difficult for me to pronounce. Um, but look at the scenery. It's, it's all made of bamboo and it's very exactly what I was expecting. So I'm very excited to see this. This is called a Gurukul, right? Gurukul. Gurukul. So in Kalaria Patu, the Akhara or Vyamshala or Talim or uh, there are many names. This is now called Kalari. This is Kalari, yeah? Right. This place, it's called the Kalari. Kalari. So in so the Kalari Yapatu is then okay. the connection to it. Okay. And so Kalari in Patu, so exercise in the Kalari. Exercise in Kalari Patu. Training in the Kalari, ah. that's Kalari Patu. Right. And what is then Gurukul? What is it? Gurukul is a place where the Guru um, resides. This overall area, including the outside, mm. this whole place is then the Gurukul. But this specific area, mm. this is the Kalari. So as you can see, there are quite a few Gadas over here. So um, interested to try them. They look pretty cool. Uh, all different, all different forms of clubs. So uh, let's just try try them out. This one is more polished. So we've entered the Gurukul, the Kalari, and um, I'm here with uh, the gurus of the Akara, the seniors. Namaste, uh, my name is Manoj Kumar. Uh, so we are here, this is Jetho sir, Jetho Gurukal, Praveen Gurukal. So we'll be taking the classes here in Kalari. Uh, our uh, Gurukul name is Ayodhana Kalari Academy. And uh, well, this is really, really, really fast. What is the name? Ayodhana Kalari. Ayatuna. Ayodhana. Ayodhana. <laughs> and uh, yeah, since uh, last uh, six years we are in Bangalore, mm. and uh, basically we are from Kerala, yes. and uh, it's a good time we could meet uh, different people. Right. And uh, thanks for coming to Kalari. Yes. About the history of uh, Kalari. Kalari. Okay. Um, because it, it it originates from Ka Kerala, right? Yeah. And. Any idea how uh, what how old it is? Because I've heard that it's one of the most o the oldest Ancient, yeah. yeah martial arts that are out there. Is that correct? Or yeah, actually, uh, there are uh, there is no written uh, 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 proof for that, uh, which mm. is in th this time only. But there are uh, uh, two ways are there. Even uh, uh, people are talking about when it comes to historical way. There are the, uh, 12th century, 13th century, and all we are uh, telling because in when yeah. it comes to the uh, Hindu mythology that uh, Mahabharata, Ramayana and all, uh, some of the Kalari moves they are describing there. Mm -hmm. In the same way when it comes to the mythology way, uh, 
from Lord Shiva. Uh, there are two lineages are telling uh, when it comes to Kalari Paito. One is southern style, other one is northern style. There are different mm -hmm. styles like Madhya Kerala, Middle Kerala style, Malabar style. Right. Same way, more uh, sub styles are there like which is called uh, Vadakan, Tekken, Tulunad, and Malanad, and Karatanad, and Kori Kod, and Chava Kadan. Okay, different okay, different, yeah, different many, subsections many, many, there. Right, right. Yeah, because, uh, because what I what I notice is that in especially in the like throughout the whole country the same practice can have multiple names yeah yeah and then it also has a little bit you know different variations yeah. yeah variations that they teach it differently uh, but the main thing is that Kaliya Patu is from the, the southern part of India right? yeah is yeah. it okay th that's where it actually so originates. Uh, yeah and this mainly uh, the most uh, uh, common practice in styles were two are there one is northern style other one is southern style right and uh, in this also the two lineages which is telling one is uh, one has come from uh, lord shiva which mm. has uh, come to uh, lord parshram uh, right. through that is the lineage another one is uh, agastya the southern style uh, right. sage agastya's Achha. lineage Achha. and uh, yeah now yeah right right and so the the basis of um Kareya Patu is that it is a martial arts right yeah it is a there are different phases which we can uh, 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 get into Kalari Paito, whether right. if you want to get into a good fitness regime, you can consider as a good fitness. It's right. a good, uh, really traditional way which is formed that way our ancestors. Mm -hmm. Second one is a good self-defense mechanism. Mm. And uh, third one, to get a uh, good discipline in life. Like uh, when it comes to kids, the way how they respect, because the first move when they're coming to the Kalari, uh, the when they're joining, there is a ritual which is called Guru Dakshina. Means uh, when uh, they have to come along with their parents and uh, mm. they have to give that dakshina with the uh, bitter leaf, arikanat and all. With the mm. So the way when they're giving the same time, they're touching their parents and taking the blessings. So after that, uh, Guru, after finally, uh, they're praying to the kal uh, Kalari God and Goddesses. Right. It's almost like an initiation yeah. going from parents Culture. to Guru. So the way yeah. how to respect and how to keep that uh, discipline in their life, the personality. So it's like a lifetime program. So that discipline life from the childhood onwards will be creating through these uh -huh. uh, rituals and customs. Okay. And apart, uh, along with that, uh, it's as a good, uh, now it is it has come as a uh, sports, uh, uh, under sports category also, because mm -hmm. now to get into uh, uh, colleges or schools, to get in sports quota, mm -hmm. uh, same time to get into armies and all. So it's like if there somebody really wanted to take it as a sport, mm -hmm. that is also possible, not only like a traditional uh -huh. art form. Right, right, right. And, and what would that then entail? I, I, if it would be a sport, it, would it be like a certain amount of uh, push-ups or lunges or dunks that you should do? Or is it like more in the... Uh, there are different... Uh, different ways. Ka kalari moves are there. Because when mm -hmm. it comes to Kalari, there are five stages. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like a Meitari, like a bare hand moves, and the bare body conditioning, everything. When a disciple starts Kalari, it starts with Meitari. Mm -hmm. After that, Koltari means the wooden weapons, like a short stake, long stake. Or right. uh, maze, all these things will be coming mm -hmm. in that. Then after that, Angatari, the third segment, which is coming as uh, sword and shield, dagger, knife, spear, uh, the flexible sword, mm. all these things will be uh, dagger, everything will be coming into the Angatari, the weather, uh, metal weapon training. Right. Finally, uh, it comes as Varumkai, uh, means the bare hand fight against weapons. Bare hand against fight, weapons? Uh, uh, against right, weapons. Right. Uh, hand to hand as well as hands against weapons. Mm -hmm. After that is the uh, conclusion of 18 syllabuses of Kalari mm. Paito. But more uh, more than that is there. Even if you go, whatever you're seeing here, some more style or uh, some more extra weapons, you can see some other Kalaris. Right. Because since it is a traditional art, everywhere people used to uh, practice in according to their own style and their mm. own whatever weapons or uh, uh, things they used to get in the traditional way. Sure, sure. And uh, the final, the fifth stage will be Kalari Chigilsa, the Kalari treatment. So the Kalari treatment means when the disciple completed the 18th service of Kalari Payatu, mm -hmm. we can consider it 10th standard, like that. After that, if they wanted to t go for higher studies, they wanted to know about more Kalari, and if they wanted to, to take it as a profession, they should know about the Kalari Chigilsa, means the vital points and the treatment, the stimulation, wow. and something happened because there are high chances to get injuries in the inside the Kalari. Mm -hmm. So the general basic injuries, most of the things we'll be uh, treating here only. So right. if it is a sprain or a kind of dislocations, mm. a fractures and all, we have to take care. We have to go for a long sure, time sure, treatment. Sure. But basic things, uh, whatever is coming, we'll be treating in Kalari only. Oh, interesting, interesting.
interesting. And you're talking about these different segments, right? Yeah. But I, from what I've heard is that it takes quite a lot of time. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. It, it <laughs> it's not like, oh, I'm here and the first week I go through this or the second week I go through this or the third week I can go play with the metal. No, that's not uh, how no, it works, no. right? No, no. Uh, see, uh, see the, because one thing, uh, the traditional way, nowadays actually sword and shield, all these things are not, uh, not even people won't even thinking about that, mm. right? But the good thing when we practice all these weapons and all, the fear will not be there for anything. If somebody is coming with a knife or whatever it is, because they have seen the worst weapon, right? The hardest weapon is the calorie only they are seeing. So right. if somebody is coming with even bare hand, that's so cool because they have fight against the weapons. So that way, uh, it is more possible. The confidence level will be going high. Right, right. And uh, other than that, when it comes to uh, people, uh, the practicing segments is so difficult because. Uh, my own experience. Mm. Uh, I'm a national player in Wushu also. Mm. Uh, Wushu. Wushu is a Kung Fu sports right, right, yes, So yes. I'm a national medalist also. So mm. what I could feel is, uh, when we do uh, uh, calorie, it is our body is capable to do anything. Mm. Because the way the flexibility, the strength and the uh, mind and body coordination is happening, that is awesome. So mm. whichever art form we wanted to get into, either or sports, our body will be ready to adapt. Mm -hmm. So that way it is a, we always suggest if somebody wanted to try color, it's a good uh, traditional art form, which they always should try. Right, right. And uh, also it is that difficult when it comes to that. Uh, yeah, because, because how long can it take before you move through the segments? It is uh, one thing uh, like any other art form. Sure. It depends on person to person. Yeah, of course. And uh, second one, generally what we could see th all these years, Minimum to complete 18 syllabus, 5 to 7 years people are taking. 5 to 7 five years. To seven seven yeah, years. Yeah. Because in between injuries can be there, some kind of uh, illness can come. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everything considered, on an average. If somebody is so punctual, because when uh, like this, uh, people are coming for only to learn calorie, not like uh, 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 they're going to their academy, uh, their normal life and fini finishing their job or study. Other than that, there are people, those who really want to take it as first priority. Right, so they'll right. be practicing minimum 5 to 6 hours in a day. That way, it's a tight schedule without breaking it. They're mm. going maximum three years, they wow. can complete. So they, they are training five to six hours every day for three, four uh, three years? Uh, uh, this only Sunday we'll be giving break because mm. people will be coming for one month course, two month crash course. Like they wanted to capture the maximum. But their fitness level has to be that way right. because if it is a beginner, it is not possible. No. Because the soreness and the tiredness in the body will, uh, it will take time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, does it, is it like similar to Kushti that you start in the morning and then also in the evening? Yeah, yeah, same way. Right, yeah, same but, way. But uh, now, uh, nowadays what we're seeing is people, it's not something really uh, f coming as so passionate about most of the people. They wanted to just know about that. Ah. So what is happening one hour or two hour training, alternate days, weekend batches, because right. uh, nowadays people don't have time only. But there are people, those who are so much passionate, they're giving the priority to Kalari Pai yes. For them, morning and evening practice is mm. compulsory. Mm. Yeah, because what I've noticed in all the Akaras and the Tamils is that the, the popularity is like slightly decreasing mm. because the old way of fitness yeah. is kind of, um, it's overwhelmed by the whole new fitness industry, right? Where yes. there are gyms and people pay for their, you know, the it's yeah, a very yeah, it different. Is, it is, it is, is a very different way of acquiring fitness and health than it was um, back in the day. Yeah. But this exists, you know, this practice exists already for so long. So, um, do you feel anything happening there? Like, does it change as as the modern uh, fitness industry comes up, or are people having different expectations than they used to be, or? Do you also feel that you have to adjust? In uh, yeah, in uh, that is there. Actually, that the way when we were learning, we all were learning that time, right. uh, the traditional uh, old school method. Because mm. if one, if simple basic stride, free kick, uh, we say, if that kick itself, if the uh, disciple is not ready for that, if he is not ready, because while moving the single leg stability has to be correct, body control, and the kick sure. has to come in a better way. So if it is not correct, Guru will not take it, whether it is two months or three months until then the, the guru will not take next number mm. and uh, and what will happen by the time it's not only uh, fitness it's all about their um, uh, d discipline because right. if they ha don't have that much dedication and the commitment and the patience the disciple will drop out mm. so uh, suppose every year uh, earlier it was uh, the uh, there is a uh, custom the uh, holiday the i mean uh, the ritual will be happening mm -hmm. called the puja holiday the mm. mahanami vijayadashami and all so that time only we'll be taking the admissions, yearly ones. 
maximum twice in a year earlier times mm. so once once they mostly 15 to, uh, like uh, uh, 50 to on an average uh, to 100 200 people will be joining at a time mm. within 6 months only half of them they will drop huh. and because of uh, they will keep like this. they will not push them to learn what whoever is coming they will be okay corrected when they correct, when they are good with that they will give next number right. so when they moving in a slow way and the guru is not uh, pushing them hard we not uh, giving them much attention still he will be but he'll be observing them mm-hmm. how they're doing are they really interested or they're just coming for fun or they just wanted to get everything quickly and r- run away because the character uh, they will uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, observe yeah, yeah, and yeah, after yeah. one year but most of them because if if there's 200 nearly 50 to 40 people will be there right so and from then he'll start t- teaching right. because then he'll take Absolutely. them serious because they are seeing that interest and a yeah, passion yeah, in yeah, them yeah, yeah. other people because it's like a maybe a trial and error or some excitement or yeah, uh, yeah, or a yeah. quick movement so they will come they will uh, drop out sure. so for such people the actually old college is gurus will not teach them directly uh, there will be senior students mm-hmm. they will be taking it when they are showing the real interest when they are passing the test that uh, first then guru will take it them serious mm-hmm. then they will ta- start teaching them Achha. that's the old way but here what is happening maybe that is kind that can be one reason because it's so difficult and it has to invest a lot of time that's why people are not coming yeah, whether yeah, it yeah. is a uh, when it goes through gym and other stuff three month goes four month goes or maybe six mm. months they can see good changes in them i can imagine yeah, 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 yeah. but uh, this is one reason but now nowadays what we do we, uh, most of the calories we won't push people but if somebody is ready to learn uh, they wanted to uh, they are taking their effort and time mm. we will give our best it's not like okay fine after 6 months only this yeah. syllabus yeah, yeah. if they're ready we are ready to yeah. give yeah. because that is the way we can also help them but more than that we can't because the there is a, a physical as well as mental mm. uh, progression is happening right so sure. th- everything has its own time so there is a saying in malayalam uh, i don't know people will understand <laughs> <laughs> so which is called talli uh, talli palpikya taane palka means anything uh, even if it comes to fruits if you putting into uh, chemical and uh, making it ripe hmm. the sa- same time when it comes from the tree naturally ripe the sweetness is more same way everything hmm. has its own time hmm. so when the disciple is taking time its own time and hmm. they learn hmm. the quality in them will be really good sure uh, but when somehow we are pushing they are doing uh, some small crash course they are pushing they want to learn more the performance and the, uh, the knowledge with their which they are acquiring it will be very less right 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 and uh, his rafi gurukha uh, <laughs> one of our most senior <laughs> big big guy big guy <laughs> nice to meet you harvard <laughs> yeah, must be a strong man must be a strong man yeah this is this is something that i think every coach needs to deal with right where is this threshold of when the student is ready and you know when does he really want to learn right instead of just being interested and motivated but not really um motivated enough to be disciplined we uh, we do one more thing uh, because we know because if you are so much rigid with this uh, traditional method mm. people won't get the exposure towards this so more often what we'll be doing we'll be giving monday workshops we are going to different cities ah, right. giving them the exposure if they like they will come for our classes or wherever the near calories are they will mm-hmm. go and join mm-hmm. but uh, we always suggest because if they're not getting any exposure it's not possible so that one day workshop will help them to give an idea will give mm-hmm. more uh, uh, knowledge about calorie like how it will be happening how it was how right, how it right, is going right. to help you in your life so the, if they're interested they will come into that mm-hmm. uh, but uh, if somebody really wanted to learn that it will take time and they have to put their time and effort into this mm, right and if people want to know more about those workshops and training schedules is there any way they can find uh, we the, the general sh- way which we have an uh, insta handle insta uh, handle uh, right. so that ayodhana gallery yeah. so they can uh, follow that so more all the updates will be there right and uh, that is the easiest way nowadays <laughs> yeah yeah it is i can completely agree <laughs> <laughs> so that is uh, that's what going to happen and uh, cool. uh, recently now we have one thing is not confirmed yet uh, in uk there is a workshop is going to happen in may 7 and 8 mm. so we have students there also uh, so cool. uh, like that workshops are happening recently now mostly in march we are planning something in uh, uk uttarakhand mm. so it's not confirmed yet uh, but may uh, uk one is already confirmed so like that we are also trying to take our time yeah, and yeah. effort to get into because every time people we are getting so many inquiry with the problem traveling from different part of the country and staying here is more difficult yeah so little bit we also do <laughs> ah that's cool that's cool this is also that that is also part of course of how you are adapting towards yeah. the new situation right how you're adapting because i, I can understand this this practice is so ancient the whole thing about social media is like how do you relate 
uh, yeah, an ancient I practice and uh, with social media and so it's it's a nice way that you uh, describe that how your guys are trying to you know because i've seen your instagram it's, it's good it's good it's very good yeah 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 so that's a uh, that's a powerful way and a modern way to reach many people so that's cool Great. yeah that's one good thing happened in this new era yeah because uh, people can reach from different part of the country they can connect each other yeah, yeah, they yeah. can see they are getting to know about different part uh, art forms mm -hmm. they are they are willing to practice they they are taking their effort mm -hmm. from there it's really that's really cool wow cool man thanks thanks um, is it possible to for me to try a few of the um, like a few of the things that you practice as a Kalea? Of Patu course, of course, because since I am talking this much, I should <laughs> give some exposure <laughs> to you. <laughs> like uh, we have been in intellectually very interested right now, but is there also a physical element to it? <laughs> right, we'd be interested in seeing that. <laughs> cool. That area is called Kalari. Kalari. The art form is Kalari Payatu. Ah. Kalari Payatu. And what does Payatu mean? Payatu means a fight. Or the right. exercise or what, what we do inside the Kalari. Ah. That is called Kalari Payatu. Achha. Okay. And uh, when we come, first we will be touching the, respecting the respecting Bumi. Bumi Deva. Yeah. We can consider as Mother Earth, we consider as our Mother. Right. So, uh, when we even, according to Hindu mythology, when we get up from the floor itself, I mean, when you, after sleep, when you get up, that time also we'll be doing some prayer and we'll test the woman there because we have all the area right. standing on her. Right. So we we'll right. give the respect to her, then only we'll be starting. For a Western mind, it's difficult to understand why you would um, respect, for example, your weapon or the ground, because somebody would say, well, this ground is exactly the same as this ground. Why would you respect this? What, what, what would make the difference, right? Okay. So for a Western mind, so what I was thinking is if you rationalize it, um, from from a mm -hmm. more perspective way is that you um, you put intention into it right so the moment you put a ten intention into it that means that you um, there's a certain level of awareness that comes with whatever you're doing so for example if you're using the sword or the gada and because you're paying attention to it it's almost like you're if you before you drive you pay attention to the car like okay I'm grateful that I'm now driving the car and that makes you more mindful of your safety during your ride is that kind of how it how it 
how you would almost almost you have you said that okay so the thing see normally uh, if if you are like suddenly if i'm seeing you mm. i like uh, the same time if i'm coming i just you yeah, like the same time hi this is different so the ah. same time you are shaking them yeah. with the respect we are giving the same time not only the uh, smoothness and the uh, uh, respect the same time the care i'm ca- caring mm. you you know not like hi same way when we take the prayer when we do that uh, all the uh, rituals here as you said we are giving more attention more uh, what you say mindful we are into that yeah. yeah so the same way when it start weapon training our gurus always used to say after giving few numbers they used to say the rest of the things the weapon will teach you mm. because if you are not doing properly they will start hitting us back because we will get injured the same way when we giving the attention uh, that uh, sharpness the alertness the focus everything is more the mm. same way when it comes to the bhumi devi where we practice when we give the vibe right we all know that positive uh, negative vibes the sure. mo- moment when we give more respect and attention towards that that devotional right, uh, right, aspects right. of that it is really important yeah, and also uh, when everybody is coming with a positive mind inside the kalari right. here there will not be any negative energy mm. and uh, the way how we construct the kalari the way how the face uh-huh, uh-huh. because there will be a air ventilation inside the kalari you know and, uh, so sorry to interrupt yeah. you but this is i i had to think because um i i i've been teaching in in james and i still do um i still do at in in amsterdam and what what happens sometimes is that for example you have a class at 12 right and at 12 there then suddenly there's people coming in and they're five minutes late and they're like <gasps> and they're like searching doing a quick warm up like uh, uh, and then they start in pumping directly up, yeah. yes pumping up and oh I, i'm not now on time for the class like there's no structure in in modern gyms uh, as to how you would uh start your workout how you would pay attention to it and you see just the people like still in their head with work and you know that's actually uh i have some contacts with the old uh, traditional way who those who are doing weight training as well right so everywhere it is there but the problem what is happening because of lot of uh where uh, people are coming to the gym sometimes the trainers are not able to give the attention sometimes mm. they are not able to give to the give uh, teach them how to start it even how important is the b- b- pre workout session how important is the post workout session i mean the stretching and other stuff mm. making or preparing our body for the session as well as after the session how we have to do the cool down and make our body ready for to recover from uh, the entire session what we were going through so that most of the time people are not giving the awareness though it is there in Insta- uh, i mean all the uh, internet and other stuff but people are not getting the awareness for that i think uh, lack of well experienced trainers or coaches are there sure, that sure, is sure. up to some extent it is there but in there's also no knowledge about because if 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 i'm thinking about a western perspective they would see these things giving respect to a certain tool as a religious form so okay. the moment you strip the religion you can also strip the uh prayers. Oh yeah. But in my mind that is not completely how it works. Like the the religion, especially in Hinduism, religion and culture is like one thing, right? Yeah, it, it is. It is not really separate, separate from each thing. other. So um the in there there's also a, a reason why you do it. It's not just only religion. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, yeah. that's what I'm trying to to figure out and I, also what I start to experience as as I get into these um practices in India. yeah it is uh, it's really important to have that because when we have the respect even uh, according to the uh, indian culture mm. when it comes to a guru and the shishya the disciple and the guru uh, connection uh, there is always used to our uh, guru used to say that bayam bhakti bahumana means oh, yeah. the fear and the devotion and the respect has to be there towards the guru so the same way it's not like mm. so much fear yo he will hit me no that way the respect with the respectful with the love sure. that devotion when it comes they will accept that guru whatever he is saying and the right. the leading towards the wisdom will be really easy yeah and that is also what we talked about earlier like the 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 how difficult it is to get uh, someone to the point that they really want to learn if you get them through these initiation processes where you become the guru then it is easier for the non guru the student to become the student and then he opens his mind and then he listens of course of course yeah. and also it is really important for us to have that uh, uh, what do you say that uh, uh, capacity or the uh, quality in us because uh, simply people with disabilities will not accept as guru whether ah. it is a performance or the exactly. knowledge where when they are going through it mentally or emotionally or as uh, physically if any mm. kind of uh, 
uh, trauma kind of things are happening even if some injuries happen we should be able to take care of everything so as a more than because i have seen most of the especially adult batch we won't get that kind of connection because there most of the people are now i am 30 my most of the students are uh, 30 plus 40 45 50 55 so they will have kind of a kind of a brother affection Actually. but when it comes to the youngster because yes. all normally we all are towards the path of the guru we can't even call us our, ourselves as a guru since we are normally just below that the ashram we say Mm. means who trains who teaches kalari pai the guru means actually the meaning is totally different mm. but sometimes people won't understand ashan say because most of the people only know the name of guru, guru so yeah. that's why we are, when we are talking yeah i am the guru who is taking that class yes, yes. so they can relate faster right. but actually we consider ourselves also we our to kids service tell we are the ashan the guru right. means he will be even our gurus so like there will be when the, with the time and the experience they, because it the experience only will come with the time right Sure. So that way, their knowledge and the uh, way how they deal with the disciple, the deal with the art, that is totally different. Mm. So uh, that quality has to be there in any guru or any coach or any trainer, whoever is taking kalari pai or any of the martial art or any of the art form. Then only they can lead the uh, disciple into the right way. Because if they are not able to give the right thing towards them, they will not be able to get the right fruit of fruit of any of the art. Exactly. So they're having that right knowledge and the uh, good experience is really important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting stuff. <laughs> Basic stances. Yeah. Uh, there are main uh, five stances, which is coming: Vata Chuvada, Nita Chuvada, Kon Chuvada, Akha Chuvada, Chata Chuvada. Mm. So these stances we will be using through the moves. Have you done any other kind of martial arts forms? Uh, yeah, I've done Krav Maga and have learned something about Kung Fu. Uh, so in Kung Fu, there are the horse riding stance. Yeah, yeah there is. Uh, So kind of these yeah. stances only we'll be connecting to throughout the syllabus and their syllabus. Right. So right. these stances are really important, the foundation we can say. After right. that, uh, which is coming as Ashtavadeva, the animal flows or the animal moves, animal right. postures. Uh-huh. So there are uh, there are more, so many are there, but main important eight are there. So which we adapted from the animals and the birds, which we say uh, basic one which we will start. Is this Ashtavadeva? Yeah. Is, uh, this, is, this, is this also based on? Animal. It, it, it is actually like the traditional way, but there is another art form which is called animal flow. Yeah, yeah. they do a different way. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is our older traditional right. way. Right. Okay. Okay. I figured. I figured. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Ashwadi, the horse dancer, uh, yeah. and uh, after that, Sarpawadi, the serpent posture, serpent. and uh, after that, Gajawadi, the elephant posture, and uh, after that, that that's uh, this one, right? Uh, that is different way. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> that is the Jana with the video. All right. Here it is different. Okay. Because. the importance of the forces and the senses it is it's not only just learning that move right. which is helping you to improve the strength flexibility as well as the stability and the yeah. mind and body coordination yeah. so when it comes uh, after gajja body work then mayura body work then mm-hmm. the peacock posture uh, then kukkuda body work rooster then uh, wild boar uh, varaha body work mm-hmm. then after the final one simha body work lion posture so this moves when we go through that uh, drills we can understand how good it is so sure. let's start let's, let's start, start with uh, ashtavadi okay ashtavadi okay so all right here first one uh, come come this side. we'll face that towards sure. that side so it is called ash uh, ashtavadi the horse posture so our hands should be here whichever leg we move forward that the hand should be front so you can keep your right hand front first we are moving right leg forward mm-hmm. right hand we be covering now from here swing your leg for backward and bring it forward So in this push, your look will be in between the hands, sharp. Then two, keep it down inside. Yeah. Then deep inhale and there is head movement which is coming. So inhale, inhale. Ah, uh-huh. just hold there. Then two hands on belly. Same way. Inhale. Elbows. same thing our hand will change left hand will be front mm. now huh? left left over
one is called Sarpan. And this one, wh what animal was this? Uh, first one is Ashur, horse horse. Horse horse. Yeah. Horse, horse. Now next one, when it comes to Sarpan. Sorry, one. When you turn your neck rotation will be happening here. One. Uh, without getting. So that deepest distance. One and two. Uh, so see getting up so when we get up it is easy. Mm. The deepest stance one. Or oh, you, you stay low. Uh, two. Right, right. Two. Uh, done. One. Uh, other hand will be always on the chest. So here, so one important thing behind this is hidden applications. Hidden application. applications. Because this looks like a very good exercise regime. But when it comes to Ashwabadi, normally comes right, to catch me or something, these kind of things, normal catch or mm. holding, right? All of, suddenly people will come and hold the neck. Mm. So go, one, one, mm -hmm. getting it. So what you do, Ashwabadi? So when you do as exercise, it will go like this. Mm. When it comes as application, even if you try to catch, go. So no normal catch. So my hands are up inside. See, mm. already blocked. It comes right. Aside. So the 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 postures you use, like inside of these postures, you use defensive moves. Uh, that you get the the body to know. Yeah. These. Get, yeah, right. But normally in uh, initial stages, we will not be revealing this. Uh -huh. People will get confused more. Yeah, so yeah, much yeah, data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what will you just do this as exercise? Make exactly. sure your legs are straight. Later Once they will realize yeah. that. When it comes to normal fight, it's not like we'll do like this. Mm -hmm. There are desi way fighting techniques we'll be doing. So here, basic things will be opening like this, Lord. Mm -hmm. when, it, when it goes to Sarpa Vati, we are simply keeping. But mm -hmm. this is like we are bending the fingertip. So the important thing is here. <laughs> because, yeah, because here, yeah. you know, there is a degree, right? Inside <laughs> that length. Wow. Because <laughs> this is very important because even if the, when it comes to very hard people, very like very very built people. Their hands here, everything will be strong. Yeah. But there are some points, the vital the, yeah. uh, points <laughs> that will never become hard. Can like we not train this? Like no, uh, that different ways are there. <laughs> <laughs> like different di different ways are there. Where yeah, we conditioning sure, sure, people yeah, will do. Yeah, but yeah. this is a very weak point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can feel it. The, the system, no? I feel even like when, when you, I feel like no, 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 just don't go there. You we'll go inside yeah, actually. Yeah. I just kept it. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. So. There are different ways sensitive. We'll be teaching that later. Right, okay. Right. Let's try the second time. But one. it is all already internalized within the inside the syllabus. Right. So the good thing is after once they complete all the conditioning and all, when they are revealing this, they will be able to connect it easily. Mm. Starting if you tell so much data, they will get confused. So and also uh, people different will be coming with a different mindset. So first we'll teach everything, but everything will be there inside. But whoever is in need, whoever is really uh, uh, deserving it. For them only we have to reveal. The moment revealing it is more easy. They can, once they get an idea, they can connect everything inside them. That way. <laughs> so let's try one of the yeah. important uh, stands in uh, Kaladi. Sure. Which is called Gajavadi, elephant posture. Elephant, right. Okay. So when it comes, first we open our leg. One, two, and three. Uh, not very big, it will be actually our shoulder width, finally. So one, two, three. One, yeah, should be on shoulder width. Now, yeah, it's it's about shoulder width, right? No, no, that is more. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for, <laughs> see, see, what I'm telling, according to everybody's feet, when yeah. you take very, very big, yeah. this will be the shoulder line. <laughs> you no, know, you, for according to your feet, also you, when you take one step, it will become shoulder. Yeah. Your shoulder width. Right, see what I mean? 
that is more or less for you. First one make bigger. Slightly open there. Because normally walking also our foot will not be straight. Le right, we will not walk like this. St slightly it will be outward. Right, yeah. So that way we have to keep. So that will give more stability on the foot. Most okay. stability. Yeah. So we done. So one, two, three. Now we have to bend. The move will be starting from here. One. And we have to get up. So the number will be. Yeah. Take it. Bring your hands from there. Ha. The important thing is actually uh, <laughs> the initial stages kids will make them to touch the floor. Actually, they will touch the floor and come. In the initial stages? Uh -huh. So in your first day, you have to touch I know, the not the first day. <laughs> I mean, the, uh, when, the, on, uh, when it is happening, the Maitari, that time. Because right. naturally, when uh, what will happen in Kalari also, according to our human life, there is a stage which is coming. Five stages are there. As I told you, Kalari, five to five stages are mm. there. Same way in human life, five stages are there. Balyam, mm. Kaumaram, Yavvanam, Vardakyam, Nishyam. Five stages in human life. Right. So same way when it comes to calorify to the first stage, volume, the same time our body will be naturally very lean and very flexible that time. Mm. But it come come around that means the teenage time will be so aggressive. I mean, we can do so much of quick moves and jumps and other stuff. When it comes and the flips and all that time, it will be our body will be ready for all those right, things. Right. When it comes to yoga, means when it after 18, our body will have more aggression, more power. So mm. when it uh, that by the time we'll be reaching into the weapons and all, we can do very hard at that. Way. That act and uh, after that, when it comes to Vardakyam, uh, when we will get into calorie kind of treatment, other mm. vital point, uh, learning all those things, Varma learning and all. Finally, Nishwana means the final stage when it comes to calorie kind of yoga and the meditation and other stuff. That is the human way when we do. So same way when somebody has to learn that the right time to start is 7 years. So that time when we are considering, I am telling. But when we start after 30, 40s and all, yeah. we have to consider them, but we can't push them as much as how we do with the kids. Sure, sure. Yeah, sure. that is it. So let's try? Yeah, let's try. Yeah. So, so one, two, three. One, two, three. I've never seen an elephant do this, by the way. Huh? I've never seen an elephant do this. Elephant will not do this. <laughs> 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 see, when did it? <laughs> be okay, let's see. Let's see. So now okay. go. Okay. Clap. Now bring your hands. Now from here. Go down. This should be 90 degrees, not more. And the elbow should be closed. The spine has to be straight. Yeah, look straight. And just if possible, bring your chest parallel to the floor. That down. And look forward. Okay. Elbows, this hand will be touching above the uh, on the upper lip, this both there. And looking above that. Back is curving. This has to go inside. Huh. And looking forward. Okay. Back has to be straight. Take one deep breath. One. Two. Now we are moving from there. First close your left leg. One. Now close and open it. Two. We'll come to the position. Ready? One. Two. One. Without getting up. In the deepest stance, we are going. One. Close. Two. One. Two. One, two, one, two. Back is bending, back has to be straight, otherwise we'll get back pain. One, two, one, and close and two. Yes, one, two, one. Uh, we are not dropping the leg, it's a, like single leg we are holding and we are moving. Two. One, see, we are just closing and moving. Two. Now, one. Elbows close. Two. Now from there we are going to turn 270 degree. One and two. This way, this way, right. Yeah, one and two. Yes, elbows close. 
Now we're trying to move a little faster. Make right here. Go. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Very good. Back straight. Elbows close. One. Two. Three. Four. Knee over, man. Strong this, legs. Uh, this way, the good thing of this is strong legs and strong core. Yes, it will, it will nicely improve. And there are a lot of throws in Kalari. Edit mm -hmm. So we'll be taking the opening and throwing. Same way, traditional sayings are there like uh, Anavari, Hanumanwari, Balavisi, mm -hmm. Kavadi. So that different way how we throw the opponent, how we lift the opponent. Some of them in a general fitness class, and our people will be doing. Taking this right. <laughs> so these things, if our posture is correct, our root, lower body is correct. Lifting is not at all any difficulty. Mm -hmm. If our form is not correct, we will not get it. Mm. So these things will help us. Mm. Same time to take and throw opposite side. Anything. Even if I want to take him, throw this way. So these things will become more easy. But it is the condition because in general class we all have to. All the kids have to start from there. They have to come here and go back each posture. Right. So this is the way we have to start. And this three over, yeah. there are more. One more we'll try. Sure. Just coming at Mayura Vadiva. Mayura Vadiva. Mayura Vadiva. Vadiva means posture. Mm. The peacock posture. So first what we'll do, we'll keep our hands like this. Sure. Left leg forward. Now right leg, there is an in kick. Like it will round our leg. Yeah, we'll do one in -ray. And be there. We'll stretch our leg from here. Ah, toes should be pointed. Look forward. Bring your leg a little more up. Let's try without jerking. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly come back. Don't drop. Slowly come back. Same way, right leg forward, left leg in, right leg forward. Now right leg forward, left leg in right, ah, and stretch your leg. Take, take another <laughs> uh, nearly three, three and a half minutes. We can do one stretch. Ah. The syllabus is there. because when we come try to complete the syllabus, uh, the body, the fitness level will be because uh, deep stances, splits, jumps, skip moves, sudden turns. 
and uh, j- jump single leg squat sitting yeah. all this coming will come along with this number ah. so and there is a uh, prayer syllabus salutation syllabus which is called putara vandana you might have done so that itself is a good exercise regimen preparing that's like a uh pre workout session like a warm up session kind of because that when we finish that's a ritual the same time when you finish the uh, syllabus your body will be ready for the end session okay. uh, i can I, c- i can see now why it takes such a long time to get better at this because yeah. uh, those are complicated no, 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 no. those are very complicated uh, routines